As the weather warms, more tent caterpillars are hatching and invading backyards. For the past few years, the crawly critter has been making a dent on local greenery. It's creepy and kind of a nuisance, but it may surprise you that the bug is also having a negative impact on some local businesses' bottom line. Ranjit Gill is stomping mad as the tent caterpillars take over the grounds of the Prince George Railway and Forestry Museum. This is the second year in a row that caterpillars have been taking a bite out of the foot traffic at the museum. Last year business was down about 5,000 people and we're thinking that it's going to be the same this year because people do not want to walk through um, a yard that's infested with caterpillars. As the bugs continue to eat through the trees around the museum, a decision was made to cancel an upcoming event. The caterpillars are absolutely disgusting. We were supposed to have a Father's Day uh, breakfast. We we're canceling it because people will not come. Our numbers last year, they were terrible, and our numbers are going to be down again this year because caterpillars, they're covering everything. They're just swarms of them. As the insects crawl from tree to tree, they become a safety issue for the mini train ride. They swarm on the tracks, the mini rail tracks, so we have to clear the tracks or else the uh, mini rail train will, uh, will just slide through and, and oh, it's just disgusting. <laughs> Garden expert Josh Van Haag estimates our area is in the middle of the caterpillar infestation cycle. You know, some areas like Beaverly, uh, it's already uh, less than it was last year. In the area like uh, Blackburn, uh, Tabor Lake, Pine View, uh, lower college heights is really bad this year. They're probably at the top. They don't mean that we don't have them there next year, but maybe, you know, there are some areas next year we won't see any. We are still open and we're still trying to eradicate them as much as, as we can in a, a um, environmentally friendly way. It's expected in a few weeks the sky will be filled with moths as the caterpillars enter the next stage of their life cycle. Dave Branco, CKPG News.